Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1982 American movie E.T. the Extraterrestrial. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Pat Welsh was an American actor known for her unique voice, which she lent to commercials and films. She voiced the creature in The Creature from the Black Lagoon and E.T. in E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Welsh also appeared in films such as The War of the Worlds and TV shows including The Twilight Zone. She passed away in 1995 at age 79, but her legacy lives on in her memorable performances. Welsh was posthumously inducted into the Voice Hall of Fame in 2001. C. Thomas Howell is an American actor known for his roles in popular films such as The Outsiders and Red Dawn. He has also appeared in TV shows like Criminal Minds and The Walking Dead. Howell began his career at a young age and has since worked as a voice actor, director, writer, and producer. His versatile talent has made him a well-respected figure in the entertainment industry. The majority of the full-body puppetry was executed by a 210-tall stuntman, whereas in the kitchen sequences, a 12-year-old boy with no legs but excellent hand-walking skills was used. Deborah Winger is an accomplished American actress known for her nuanced performances. She has received multiple award nominations and starred in successful films like Urban Cowboy and Terms of Endearment. Despite her success, she has maintained a low profile and pursued other interests, including environmental activism and documentary filmmaking. Winger's performances have been praised for their authenticity and emotional depth. She is respected by her peers and has made a significant impact on the entertainment industry. Drew Barrymore is an American actress, producer, and director from the renowned Barrymore family of actors. She began her career in the 1980s with hits such as E.T. and Firestarter. Barrymore has won awards, including a SAG and Golden Globe nominations. Despite personal struggles, she remains a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for her humor and philanthropic efforts. Barrymore has worked on many projects, including hosting her own talk show and publishing a memoir. To establish a deeper connection between Elliot and E.T., Steven Spielberg employed a child's perspective for the majority of the film, shooting from eye level. This technique effectively immerses the viewer in the world of the film, making it feel more relatable and emotionally engaging. Melissa Matheson was an American screenwriter known for her work on E.T. the Extraterrestrial and The Black Stallion. Her ability to craft heartfelt stories that touched audiences earned her an Academy Award nomination. Matheson passed away in 2015 at the age of 65 due to complications from cancer. Her contributions to the film industry continue to inspire generations of writers and filmmakers. Casey Martel is a popular 1980s actor known for his roles in E.T. and Growing Pains. Though his career was short, he left a lasting impression on audiences with his talent and charm. Martel remains a beloved figure in Hollywood and an inspiration to many for his dedication to pursuing his dreams. During the filming of E.T., Drew Barrymore improvised some of her lines. When Gertie comments, I don't like his feet, she was actually referring to the wires coming out of the E.T. puppet. Additionally, when Elliot tells her only little kids can see E.T., Barrymore ad libbed, give me a break. These improvised moments added to the authenticity of the film. Erica Aleniak is an American actress best known for her role in Baywatch. Born in 1969, she began her career as a child actress, appearing in commercials and TV shows. She gained recognition after her role in E.T. and has appeared in numerous TV shows and films. Aleniak continues to work as a voice actress and enjoys practicing yoga in her free time. Sean Fry is a versatile and dedicated actor known for his work in TV and film. He played the character of Mark in Stranger Things and earned critical acclaim for his lead role in American Fable. 
Fry also supports children's charities such as Street Judes and Make-A-Wish. Despite his success, he remains humble and committed to his craft. Sean Fry is sure to continue making a positive impact in the industry and beyond. Composer John Williams had a significant musical experience at the end of a film. Director Steven Spielberg took the film off the screen and allowed Williams to conduct the orchestra as he would at a concert. The film was then re-edited to match the music, resulting in Williams winning the Best Original Score Award at the 1982 Academy Awards. Williams recreated this experience in 2013 while conducting the LA Philharmonic Live with the film's last reel shown on Jumbotrons. Robert McNaughton is an American actor known for his role as Michael in E.T. He continued to act in various movies and TV shows before leaving the industry to pursue a career as a photographer. McNaughton's portrayal of the older brother in E.T. remains a standout performance to this day. He now works as a freelance photographer in New York City. Milt Kogan was an American actor known for his roles in over 100 television shows and movies. He was best known for his role as the boss in Get Smart and had recurring roles in other shows. Kogan also appeared in several films and lent his voice to animated shows. He passed away in 1985. Although not a household name, Kogan's work left a lasting impression on audiences. During the Halloween sequence in E.T., the extraterrestrial spots a youngster wearing a Yoda outfit and appears to recognize him. This is actually an Easter egg planted by director Steven Spielberg as a nod to his pal, Star Wars mastermind George Lucas. In turn, Lucas paid homage to E.T. in Star Wars, Episode 1 The Phantom Menace, where the alien species can be spotted in a shot of the Galactic Senate. This reciprocal reference demonstrates the mutual respect and admiration shared by the two iconic filmmakers. Peter Coyote is a renowned actor, screenwriter, and author with over 150 film and TV credits. He starred in iconic movies like E.T. and Bitter Moon and appeared in popular TV shows like Law & Order, L.A. He's also written books and screenplays. Coyote's talent and versatility have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Henry Thomas is an American actor known for his role in E.T. the Extraterrestrial. He has also appeared in Gangs of New York and The Haunting of Hill House. Thomas is a talented musician and has composed the score for the film Dear John. He is married with children, enjoys spending time with his family, and supports charitable causes. Thomas is a respected and versatile actor who has made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. The film that holds the record for the longest theatrical run is yet to be dethroned. Its enduring popularity has kept it in theaters for an impressive amount of time. Which movie is it? That remains a mystery. Dee Wallace is a versatile American actress known for her work in horror and science fiction films, such as Cujo, The Hills Have Eyes, and E.T. She has also appeared in various TV shows and is a motivational speaker and author. Her talent and contributions to the horror genre have earned her critical acclaim and a dedicated fanbase.